Planet Earth is home to over 12,000 species of reptiles. Did you know the very first ones appeared more than 300 million years ago? Throughout our planet's history, reptiles have taken many different forms, all grouped into their own distinct biological orders. Although many reptiles are alive and well today, only a handful of orders remain. The largest order is Squamata, which consists of both lizards and snakes. The second largest is called Testudines, where the turtles and tortoises are grouped. Third down the line is Crocodilia, which is made up of alligators, crocodiles, caimans, and gharials. I'm Donald, and this is my assistant, Bear. Chances are you're very familiar with these scaly friends of ours, but there actually is one more reptilian order. This may look like a lizard, but it is in fact the last surviving member of an order of reptiles that was very diverse during the age of the dinosaurs. The name of this order is Rhynchocephalia, and its lone member is called the Tuatara. The Tuatara can rightly be called the world's most unique reptile, and our quest today is to find out why. But first, why don't we dig a little deeper into the history of Rhynchocephalians? The oldest known Rhynchocephalian fossils date back to the middle of the Triassic period, roughly 240 million years ago. In addition to there being many species, they took on a variety of lifestyles and shapes. Some mainly ate plants, while others feasted mostly on insects. There were forms that lived on land, and some that were more aquatic. By the middle of the Jurassic period, they had spread around the world, and eventually became the dominant small reptiles. However, most of them had died out by the end of the Cretaceous period. Across the fossil record, the declining number of Rhynchocephalians over the course of the Mesozoic era seems to coincide with a rising number of lizards. For this reason, some scientists have suggested that lizards may have outcompeted Rhynchocephalians for food. In any case, today's adventure brings us to New Zealand, the only place where you will find the Tuatara. Wild populations have been extinct on the main islands for hundreds of years. When Polynesian settlers first sailed to New Zealand between 1250 and 1300 AD, rats had climbed aboard the boats as stowaways. Upon arrival, the rats scurried off the boats and preyed voraciously on the Tuataras. Ever since then, these reptiles have been found in the wild on several small islands off the coasts of the two larger islands that make up the mainland, though some reintroduced populations can be found in fenced sanctuaries on the North Island. For a long time, scientists believed that there were two species of Tuatara. However, genetic studies have revealed that together they only make up one species. Today, two subspecies are recognized, the North Island Tuatara and the Brothers Island Tuatara. The black dots on this map indicate where the North Island subspecies can be found, while the squares show you where you can find that of the Brothers Island. Males usually grow to about two feet long, while females usually reach about 18 inches in length, as seen here compared to the size of an average person. Like other reptiles, tuataras are ectothermic, or cold-blooded. This means they depend on the temperature of the environment to regulate the temperatures of their bodies. Compared to other reptiles, however, tuataras have an amazing tolerance for cold. They can stay active even in temperatures as low as 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5 degrees Celsius, while the highest they can tolerate is 82 Fahrenheit, or 28 Celsius. Relatively low body temperatures give tuataras a very slow metabolism, so much so that they can go a whole hour without breathing. Furthermore, scientists believe that the lifespan of a tuatara can reach up to 200 years. Tuataras rest in burrows. While hatchlings are mainly active during the day, adults come out to feed at night. The only other nocturnal reptiles are certain species of lizards. Perhaps the Tuatara's most unusual feature is actually its third eye. 
Yes, the Tuatara has three eyes, but the third eye is not used for sight. Located on top of the head, the parietal eye is covered in translucent skin and scales. The Tuatara uses this eye to sense the exact time of day, and scientists believe it may also help with navigation, circadian rhythm, hormone production, and regulating body temperature. The Tuatara is an amazing animal, isn't it? The story of these incredible reptiles reminds us that there is more about the wild world to discover every day. Never stop exploring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.